In practice at 1-9, we are multiplying fractions with an optional technique called cancellation. The directions say wherever possible, try the cancellation technique on these problems. If done correctly, you will not have to reduce any of your answers. Now the original way to multiply two fractions was top times top, 4 times 3 is 12, bottom times bottom, 9 times 8 is 72, and then we would need to reduce. This may be a bit of a challenge because the numbers have gotten fairly large. Let's try the cancellation technique. I'm going to rewrite my fractions. And usually on the diagonals, <coughs> excuse me, we look for factors that may be divided out of each of the numbers. For example, 4 and 8 are each divisible by 4. I do the division in my head and write the answer like this. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. On this diagonal, I notice they're both divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Then I finish up top times top bottom times bottom, and my answer is one-sixth. And this does not need to be reduced. I reduced any factors that could be divided out along the way while the numbers were still small and easy to work with. Let's do one more together. Number six. Five-six times nine-tenths. I'm going to rewrite this so I have room to write on it. On this diagonal, they're both divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. And on this diagonal, 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Top times top bottom times bottom, and finish by performing the multiplications. 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 2 is 4. My final answer is 3 fourths, and it's already in reduced form.